about to read to you this evening, this Sunday evening, from the book called The Law of Success by Paramahansa Yogananda. No, Paramahanda. No, Paramahansa Yogananda. You read this morning on page 14, you said? Mm-hmm. Failure should arouse determination. And the first sentence says, even failure should act as stimulants to your willpower and to your material and spiritual growth. When you, when you have failed in any project, it is helpful to analyze every factor in the situation in order to eliminate all chances in the future that you might repeat the same errors. And notice also the people that you repeat the errors with. You must be, with some people, you must be just like a nurse with a needle. They come in, give you a shot, and they leave. That's what the police officers do also. They give you a a ticket, and then they leave. They leave the area. All right, and so it was about A and B were fighting, and one says... His thinking makes him lose. I cannot go on any longer. And the other one said, just one more punch. And that's what he <laughs> yeah, wants. That that's fine. I'm going to review a little bit. Now, the next, you know, what is the SWOT analysis? That's from a separate teaching. When I went to Florida Tech, which is not a technical school, I took the business administration course, and the teacher taught me about the SWOT analysis. What are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats? So do an analysis every day of what you did right and what you did wrong. Do an analysis every day of what you did right and what you did wrong. And learn from each day. What I did right today, can you name anything? I started the project with the bed, and no, then, you said you were take the bed. but then my, your mother gave uh-huh. me a higher assignment, which was to do the laundry. The laundry. I'm pretty sure she wanted you to do the bed first. And no, she said she wanted me to do the laundry first, so she got me out of finishing the bed. And the next thing, I did deliver the bicycle to grandma. You see, that was a major. Thing. Look at this. It's like an onion sort of thing. Yes, it's an onion. Suppose you have failed so far. It would be foolish to give up the struggle. Accepting failure as the decree of fate. It is better to die struggling than to abandon your efforts while there is still a possibility of accomplishing something more. For even when death comes, your struggles must soon be renewed in another life. Taoism. <laughs> what? Taoism. Taoism? I believe it's more like Buddhism. Ah, yeah. But Hinduism might have that also, reincarnation and stuff. But who knows what's on the other side? Now, if what some people would say, if what Jesus said is true, there is a, another side. Right? Yeah. And then even if you don't believe in Jesus, you think, well, who made the sun? There must be a God. And then people believe in, I would, that there is a God and that there is a day we must. After we die, we must. We must have a talk. I think we have a talk. Success or failure is just a result of what you have done in the past, plus what you do now. So you should stimulate all the success thoughts of past lives until they are revitalized and able to overrule the influence of all failure tendencies in the present Present time, present life, yes. The successful person may have had more serious difficulties to contend with than one who has failed. 
but the former trains himself to reject the thought of failure at all times. You should transfer your attention from failure to success, from worry to calmness, from mental wanderings to concentration. from restlessness to peace, and from peace to the divine bliss within. When you attain this state of self-realization, the purpose of your life will have been gloriously fulfilled. All right, why don't you finish the, the short paragraph here? The need for self the title of the next paragraph is, on page 16, The Need for Self-Analysis. Are you going to read it? Come on over here, please. All right, I'll read it. Another secret of progress is self-analysis. Introspection is a mirror in which to see recesses of your mind that otherwise would remain hidden from you. Diagnose your failures and sort out your good and bad tendencies. Analyze what you are, what you wish to become, and what shortcomings are impeding you. Decide the nature of your true task, your mission in life. Endeavor to make yourself what you should be and what you want to be. This is like talking about molding yourself. <clears throat> As you keep your mind on God and attune yourself to His will, you will progress more and more surely in your path. Your ultimate purpose is to find your way back to... What? Back to God. But you also have a task to perform in the outer world. Willpower combined with initiative will help you to recognize and fulfill that destiny? Yes, destiny, that task. So what did you do correct today, son? So you bought your sister a fish. Excellent, son. That cheered her up, right? This is good. And then look what your mother bought for me. This is canvas designer, plastic canvas. It's for a bag. It's 10 inches, like a sheet of paper. Why are you making that? Well, I'm, I'm going to make something like this. Can you see up? Yes, a house. I don't know. There's a water leak somewhere, perhaps. Oh, I can see through very little. This is fantastic. I just have to put a piece of wood here and combine it. Yes, combine it. Then I'll have a little house. And let's see, this way would be bigger, but I'm not sure I'd which way to do it. This is fantastic. Two dollars at Walmart. I think it's three of them. Three pieces. God bless you and those that surround you. Keep learning every day. Listen to the motivation channel. Or I don't know. You want to go check? Take the flashlight. I'm glad you have good ears to hear this. The water heater is working. working. Yeah. One of the hoses is on there. Listen.
listen to motivational videos. Happiness comes from progress, says Tony Robbins. To be happy is to think happy thoughts. However, since we are in a physical world where we walk around, we might as well do something constructive. You can build a bookshelf. Start with that. It will help you. And then teach someone. Ah, that's harder to do. See you in the next video.